Hey, I'm James Crouch here with uh, Michelin Agriculture talking about uh, CTIS or Central Tire Inflation Systems. Um, it's a, something that you're going to see in the future. It's, it's very small in North America right now. The European market has adopted it quickly uh, for several reasons. Number one, uh, one of the big focuses right now in the global market is, gonna, is soil compaction. Uh, that's going to come over to North America before long. It's just, a, it's just a natural progression of things, trying to get the most yield out of a field. Uh, in Europe, uh, the way it broke into the market was mainly on tanks, so manure tanks, large tanks. They're extremely heavy, as we know. Uh, the tire pressures can be very high, but you don't necessarily need that high of a pressure when you get in the field at low speeds. So the central tire inflation systems give the operator the power and the control to change the pressure on the fly almost automatically, even sometimes even automatically, when they get to the field to maintain the exact amount of pressure they need of lower pressure in the field that they don't need or that they would need more pressure on the road. So higher speeds on the road need more pressure, lower speeds in the field, six, seven miles an hour, you can drop those pressures down significantly. Dramatically decreases compaction. Uh, this is something that we would like to see in North America soon. Uh, there are a lot of little aftermarket groups doing it right now. Uh, some of the OEMs, I'm sure, are working on it in their long-term projects because there is such a benefit. Uh, and it's a benefit to the tire sellers too, to the tire manufacturers. With us, with the IF and RVF technology, the Ultraflex technologies, it's extremely valuable because we can get to lower pressures than most of our competition. It's extremely important for the farmer. And you mentioned the benefits. You know, in North America, uh, what do you see as, as kind of the big uh, the big need for this technology there? What what are some of the, the big enhancements that we could expect? Um, what do you mean? Well, just the, the primary benefits of being able to kind of manipulate that uh, pressure on the fly. Oh, well, the biggest benefit is, is compaction. Absolutely. Number one is compaction. Uh, dramatic decrease in compaction in the field because you're not running these... these because when we set up a tanker or something in, in the U.S., we set it for worst case scenario. We set the air pressures for maximum load, maximum speed. Uh, just because you have to. You don't, you, if you didn't, then you would be overloaded on the, on the road. But what this allows you to do is have the best, best case scenario for both. You have the optimum pressure on the road and you have the optimum pressure in the field, which is significantly lower. Much larger footprint, lower soil compaction.